Okay. So, our first question is going to be, what type of home do y'all live in? Is it a rental or you own it? Is a, we own it. Okay. Um, we're buying it. Slowly buying it, right? Mm -hmm. So, the type of, is it a single detached? Mm -hmm. When did y'all move there? 2005. 2005. So, you've been there 14 years? Mm-hmm. Right, in July. Yep, July 2005, so... So right around 14. 13, yeah. Um, how did y'all end up in Crisp County? I was born, well, I was raised here. You are raised here? So did y'all come back from being away? No. Um, I went away to school, and then I moved to the next county over. I moved to Dooley County for a couple of years, but then I moved back to Crisp. So I've always been here. Is your husband from here, too? He's from Wilcox. So, yes, very nearby. So, tell us a little more about the kind of home that y'all live in. Um, I, I would say it's a ranch style um, brick. Um, three bedrooms. No. There's three bedrooms. Um, two and a half baths. Living room, dining room, kitchen that are all separate. Um, and then there's a additional, an add-on in the back this one? that we're um, currently using as a bedroom as well. But it could be an office or whatever. It's just a spare room. So did y'all build your house? No. Nope. It was built in the early 1980s. So it's been there a while. Yep. So does your house have... Any um, rooftop solar? No. Why do you not have any rooftop so solar? <clears throat> was it something you decided or was that made for you? Um, well, it didn't have any when we bought the house. Um, we have considered it since then, um, but just don't know enough about solar power. Um, and then, of course, you know, financial... We'd have to look into some financial assistance as well if it was an option. So I just don't you, know enough about it either. Would you that? Would you think the biggest, the biggest, the biggest not going to do it is because you don't have the education about it? Right. I mean, there's just it's not. Um, yeah, there's not. We we don't know enough about it. Um, or, or know how to go about getting it or the process or how it would actually work with the electricity that we already have with Crisp County Power. Mm -hmm. So who do you think you would need to have the information from? The power company or the uh, solar companies? Um, both, um, because I think that um, we. one thing that I would like to have done is to have an assessment of our home done to find out how energy efficient or not energy efficient our home is, um, and then someone to help us determine what would be the best um, for our home as far as energy efficiency, whether it be electric power or solar power or you know what, what other options might be out there. Have y'all replaced your windows and things since it's... No. Or are they all original? They, they're all original, and they do need to be replaced. They're the double-pane windows. Um, and they have, they need to be replaced. We have gotten a new roof um, since we've been there. But that's about, that's it. <laughs> so your overall, your energy efficiency would be what you'd look at and then look at the solar? Mm -hmm. To see what we would need to do to upgrade to make our home more energy efficient. Mm -hmm. And then um, if solar would meet the needs that we had, you know, with our improvements, it might be an incentive to, especially if it was, you know, cost effective and saving money on our power bill each month. So if it were available, it would be something y'all would be interested in putting on your house. It just finding out the logistics would be what's important. Yes.
you have anything to add, you can just talk. Just and and that's what I was thinking. I mean, like I said, it's been several years, maybe, maybe 10 years that ago that we were approached by somebody, you know, with the, about the solar panels. And that's it. You know, there's just not, um, if the companies are out there to do it, they're not in our area or for whatever reason, they're not making themselves known, you know, making their products known. So who approached y'all about it? I don't remember. I don't remember if it was, um, the, no, my husband may remember because he's the one that, that did it. Uh-huh. Um, but it was, a, it was a company that was selling solar panels uh-huh. and they would take you to, you could, we went to America's to some restaurant and they paid for a steak dinner for us to listen to their presentation. Hmm. Um, and then they would have somebody come out to the house if you were interested um, and I think that we did express interest, but then after that, nobody else ever contacted us. So, oh well. You just didn't lose anything? No. So many of these questions. Oh. <laughs> okay, so, you have anything else on that part? The next part, we're going to talk about some maps a little bit. Okay. We are... This part oh, oh, yeah, well, like is, something. go ahead. Um, I, I, I see lots of times, you know, when, when we're doing our taxes every year, mm-hmm. um, and there's tax incentives for improvements for energy stuff. Um, so that would be something that would, you know, I would be interested in, um, or would, that would make it more appealing, um, is if you could, you know, get tax credits for solar power. Mm-hmm. So it's finding the education on what Mm -hmm. tax credit she would get and on the cost and um who who around here does it and of course i'm the kind of person that you know if there's several companies to choose from i would want to you know get references and things like that just just really know um, that they're going to stand behind their products and their service okay we're looking at maps okay we're looking at maps so this part, we're going to identify the communities and individuals who we think, who you think, are higher in the adoption of sol- rooftop solar energy. Um, what kinds of people you think they are, where you think they live, the information. So we're going to talk about it in general. So we're going to look at the map of the U.S. And where do you think most people have rooftop solar energies on their home? Um, on the map and draw on the map where you think it is. You can color it, write it, circle it, however you want to identify it. And what if we really don't know? <laughs> Take your best guess. Um, I would think it's testing your geographic location. I mean, I would just think that people that have that live in areas where it's harder to get electric electricity. Maybe like in the mountains or things like that. You know, they have the solar powers on their on their homes or their cabins. Um, probably in Alaska, where they get so many more hours of sunlight per day than than we do, or per year. Um, and then maybe out in the the plain states, maybe just because there's less trees and a lot more access to solar energy. Mm-hmm. So why do you, th- so I guess you kind of described it. So overall you think it's more when they have limited access to power or when they've got more sunlight. More access to sunlight. More access to sunlight. Okay. I guess that's just what I would think. I don't know. I think it's just something that's the information is so limited. Mm-hmm. You have mm-hmm. to know where to look at. I mean, like I said, I see as, as in Georgia and a lot of the rural areas, you know, have a lot of the um, acres and acres of the solar power, but not on homes. Mm-hmm. So I don't know what mm-hmm. the difference is. Okie dokie. So now we're going to talk about Georgia a little bit. In the communities of Georgia, where in Georgia do you think there is more rooftop solar? And the ones that are highlighted are just to give you locations, Mm -hmm. orientation. For rooftop solar. Mm -hmm. Within Georgia. I would think it would probably be um, the areas that have companies that provide that service or that product. 
but not knowing where those are, I don't know. I don't really know. Um, probably in the more metro areas. So I would say the Atlanta area, Savannah area. I'm trying to think where I may have seen more, but I really don't think I've seen that many rooftops. So I'm just going to say the more metro area. I didn't start seeing them too much until I agreed to do this project. Oh, then and I now you see them more when you notice them? I'm like, okay. ah, I'll start noticing them more. Okay, well, and, and I probably will start looking around more now. <laughs> yeah, and you go, huh, so. interesting. <laughs> so, what do you so think? So, will we get answers to these questions? I mean, we should. Okay, we should okay. get, well, part of this is finding the information, and then okay. it'll come back in some studies of okay, what okay. we find. Now that I don't know exactly what our timeline is on that, but okay. I'll share it when I get it. Okay. And then, why do you think the metro areas would have it more than, like, Cordelia Rural County? Just because of um, the companies um, and, and where, where, where companies like to um, settle their home offices and things like that, where the, the competition and, and more of a demand... Um, and I just don't think that the rural areas have much demand for it because we don't know about it. So do you have any of your close friends within Georgia that have solar rooftop? Not that I know of. Not any that you have? Mm -mm. Do you know anyone, anybody you know, have solar? Mm -mm. No. I mean, I know a couple of people that have the, when I think about, you know, what they look like, they have the skylights. In their mm -hmm. houses, you know, to have this the sunlight, but not for power. Not solar, not solar so, energy. not that I know of, unless it's something that I just haven't noticed. <laughs> hey, no. it'll be a topic for you now. <laughs> well, thank you.